Good morning, we are here today with Gresty, and who is the Chief Executive of Tesco PLC. Today we are here to discuss Tesco's e-commerce website. According to our sources, the growth of Tesco's online business has soared over the years by nearly 400% from 2002 to 2009. So, Gresty, how has this affected the overall profits? Yes, our online business had a huge positive effect within our company. The e-commerce was very expensive and difficult to set up, but it was well worth the risk. Um, it took, it, we achieved an overall profit margin of $3 billion um, alone last year, $1.6 billion of it coming from the e-commerce alone. Oh, that's a positive turnover since the e-commerce has been on the rocks. How did you manage to attract so much attention from other customers Hello? over other competing companies? Well, what are you wearing? <laughs> Well, this is due to clever marketing strategy. Since we have a lot of money, obviously we can put all um, uh, our campaigns we follow can be absolutely huge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, we have TV adverts, special offers, in-store promotions, posters, <laughs> radios, um, just things like that that can uh, promote both our high street uh, and our online presence. Alright, in store you would simply go to a shop, pay for your goods at a checkout and go home. How are the online sales handled and do you think it's successful? That's a good question. The use of shopping online is important and relevant to how successful it is. We need to make sure the customer feels secure and protected at all times, but we also need to make it easy to understand and work for less computer literate people. This is hard to accomplish, but after pumping necessary research and money into it, I think we have achieved our goal. So yes, I think it is successful. Hello, we're now driving and interviewing a manager at a local Tesco store. Matthew Parkinson joins us today to continue the talk on the online store. Mr. Parkinson, how does the company meet the needs of the customer on the high street and online? I saw a high street store in the prime convenient position so the customer could easily always access it. The e-commerce website makes it so easy to purchase the products that have fast efficiency delivery on all the customers. How do you handle the returns online and do you feel they handle it well? The quickest way would be to take the product back to the local store with a, uh, a receipt or unable to do that they could collect um, the agents on a hotline. This system is a good system although it could be improved through a faster service on the collection points. When I go to the high street stores, I can see for myself the quality, size and feel of the product. I mind it can be often harder to get that from just a picture and the description of the product. I feel this would affect the decision to use the online service. Well, that's probably why it's many people, but you never know, like, half in the future, the PD become better popular. <laughs> but realistically, all we can do is take a high quality picture of the product and describe it as much as possible for all the details of that. Excuse me, sir. What do you feel is the future of Tesco's online service? I, I, I think that it will be that it will grow and grow because it is convenient, easy to use, and then it will be cheaper. Thank you. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Um, when I'm shopping, I'm very picky and ask the staff a lot of things about how I can do things online. Yeah. Oh, um, it's okay. There's a good help service which can tell you more or less anything. But how can I pay online? The paying online is easy. You can easily pay a very major card. The only difference between paying online and the stores is you can't use cash online. Okay, thank you for that. But just one more thing before you go. Could you recommend as to whether you feel a company such as Robocom should invest in a high street presence as well as an online presence? Who the hell is Robocom? Whoa, 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 what do you mean you don't know who Robocom is? Robocom is a business that sells robots to businesses and the public um, to help out uh, everyday stuff by cleaning gutters and cleaning roads. Well, I think Robocom shouldn't have an on-street presence because it's limited to its customers are people who live near us. And uh, since it's a niche market, it's best to have uh, it worldwide. Well, I personally believe that having a high street presence would pay off, especially at Christmas time, because people, thousands upon thousands of people would be walking around the streets and it would get its name out there. And then, yeah, it would improve our customers' uh, base, which is, this is why I think it's worth it. We place the high store in a prime. <laughs> <laughs> we place the high 
cheap store in a prime convenient position so the customer can always easily access it. For the e-commerce website, we make it so easy to purchase the products. Then have. <laughs> and we play. Okay. okay. Good morning, we are here today with Matthew Gresty who is the Chief Executive of Tesco PLC. Today we are here to discuss Tesco's e-commerce website. According to our sources, the growth of Tesco's online business has soared over the years. <laughs> yeah, that's a positive turn ever since the economy has been on the rocks. How did you manage to attract so much attention from Costello? <laughs> also, when I'm shopping... <laughs>